The goal of the National Brain Tumor Society and all of us is to find a cure for brain tumors. And to do that, we're developing new treatments. And as we have these new treatments, we need to know if they're helping patients. And that's what endpoints are. So endpoints are whether the treatments shrink the tumor, whether it delays the time the tumor comes back, or makes patients live longer, or improve their quality of life. So all of these are endpoints. The clinical endpoints are basically the benefits of the treatment. So one goal is to um, more accurately define these endpoints and to understand which are the best endpoints to use for evaluating a new treatment for brain tumors. The other part of the initiative is to engage the FDA and drug companies so that they so that with their help we have a clear understanding of which are the endpoints that we should look at for particular drugs. The FDA has been very supportive and wants to help the neuro-oncology com uh, community uh, be able to develop better treatments for patients. And so they are very interested in trying to have workshops that define the right endpoints uh, for clinical trials to evaluate new drugs and with the hope that if these endpoints are clearly defined, then drug companies will find it easier to test their drugs in brain tumor patients, and more of them will do so, and, and hopefully uh, uh, lead to better treatments. Most trials for brain tumors have not looked at quality of life, on uh, neurocognitive function, uh, and on things like seizure control or steroid use. All of these things affect the quality of life of patients. And so we are also hoping to have people rethink uh, the, the way they develop drugs and to pay more attention to these uh, quality of life endpoints. I think also they're interested in endpoints that will allow the studies to be shortened. So if for, for example, if we have a very good drug that significantly shrinks tumors, you know, they, they appear open to the idea that you can do smaller trials with fewer patients. And if you see clear shrinkage, then that could be a way to uh, get at least uh, accelerated approval of these drugs. I, th I think hopefully this will really revolutionize and galvanize the field. We can have a clear understanding of what trials need to be done to get FDA approval for new treatments. And hopefully there'll be more companies bringing drugs to, to brain tumor patients. The National Brain Tumor Society is really doing a wonderful thing in uh, supporting this endpoint initiative and engaging the FDA and uh, uh, pharmaceutical companies and, and the pa patient uh, population and the academic institutions all working together to try and uh, come together to get better endpoints and, and hopefully improve the way we develop drugs. So this is a really good thing. Hopefully this will result in much better treatments for our patients in a much shorter term.